to head back into this breaking news right now. This is video from one of the people who was down at the strip. Panic ensued there earlier today as many thought it was an active shooter tonight. Police have now confirmed there has been no active shooter. You see police right there in this video trying to get to the MGM Grand. We are, we do have a crew there right now. Jeremy Chen is live on, on scene. Jeremy, what are you seeing there right now? People, so many, for so many, this was triggering of 1 October, and obviously, luckily here, this is not this situation. So what can you tell us right now? Yeah, Pauline, obviously a very, very chaotic and somewhat scary evening for a lot of visitors here on the Strip. Let me take a step back and show you right now. We are on the corner of Harmon and Las Vegas Boulevard. You can just see the massive police presence you see down over there. Lots of flashing lights. We've seen quite a few uh, first responders come in and out. But what we can tell you is that police are saying there is no need to panic because of the fact that they are saying that the reports of a supposed active shooter are unfounded. There was apparently glass that shattered near the MGM that startled uh, some people and then it caused uh, a panic, unfortunately. But that is what we are told by police. There is so far no evidence of any sort of shooting that happened here on the strip. You can take a look at this video, of course, whenever you hear something like that. Uh, of course, there's going to be panic. Just keep in mind, uh, this comes as we've already had news of recent mass shootings that happened in various parts of the country. So any sort of startling incident that could happen certainly will bring up sort of this panic. And also here in Las Vegas, we also had one October happen. Those memories still fresh in a lot of locals' minds. And we do want to let people know that, you know, stuff like this could be triggering. So if you are triggered by the sights of and sounds of stuff like this. There are resources available at the Vegas Resiliency Center. But for now, right now, what we're seeing, uh, people are still walking across the pedestrian bridges as normal. Right now, uh, cars are going as normal. Uh, just a little bit of a back, the usual backup that you see uh, here on the strip. However, it's gonna be even more of a backup over here because of all the police response that's in this particular area. Officers trying to figure out, you know, making sure everyone stays calm and whatnot. But once we do get more information about the panic that happened here, we'll be sure to share that with you on air and online at KTMB.com. For now, reporting before, live on the Strip, I'm Jeremy Chen. And Jeremy, before you head out, I do have a question for you. You know, the Strip is about seven minutes away from the station from where we are. It took you a lot longer to get there. So what is the traffic heading into the Strip like right now? Yeah, the traffic heading into the Strip, if you are looking to come here, you might want to pack some patience as there are quite a lot of cars here uh, in this particular era. Keep in mind, this is a Saturday night. This is a weekend, so there will be a lot of people from out of town in this particular area. It's also the might be the reason why uh, we heard so much on social media about this uh, alleged active shooter that police are saying is unfounded. So obviously a lot of out of towners when you have the chaos come with you know, the possible reports of a possible shooting, of course, as you can imagine, chaos will ensue.